What's up, everyone? It's Patrick. Nowhere to go show. A long time no see. Happy New Year to you. Just took a little bit of time off because it was so busy throughout the holidays, as I'm sure we could all attest through it. I took it very easy on the last uh, set of 2022, which was Silver Tempest. Um, just wasn't a ton of art in there I was interested in. Plus, again, holidays, one of the save up. But the Crown Zenith, I was going to be super hype about. I am super hype about. Uh, I actually was just in Target and got it a couple days early. It's actually supposed to release this Friday, uh, which is the 20th, and today's the 18th. So check your t local Targets, maybe Walmarts. They've got them out. And, yeah, I'm going to get right into it. I will say my store also had – I think these have been out, the Paldean Collections. It's kind of interesting that they're already showcasing some of the first Scarlet and Violet cards with the silver border, which I'm so excited for. Uh, but they do include some Sword and Shield packs. So no Scarlet Violet packs, not till March. But I did pick up a couple, the Fue Coco and the Quaxley. I will need the Sprigatito collection. And I will open that in a separate video. And those retailed for $19.99. Uh, four packs, three promos, and a giant one that either comes with Coridon or Maridon. So it's randomized. So that's a great deal. I think this one was $49.99. So definitely on the higher end. Uh, it always comes down to ETBs are not the best uh, when it comes to value, but uh, for if you're caring about just packs. Now, if you look at everything else, yes, this has a ton of product in it, which we've seen them, but I will go over them again. The nice featuring Lucario on the front of it, the box, just showcase it. We got some more red, a little shiny there. And let's have a look. You get the sleeves. I wonder, oh, they're still the same kind of sleeves, a little foggy. You know, they're not a fan favorite. I'm hoping for the Scarlet and Violet starting with their ETBs, which look great with some exclusive all arts of Maridon and Coridon with a Pokemon Center logo that we will get uh, maybe back to the old school kind of see-through. You've got a code card. So there you go, guys, for the Zenith Elite Trainer Box. Oh my goodness, the Lucario, it is bent to all shape though. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Now, I do have a Pokemon Center ETB coming, so I will open that in a separate video, but that is very unfortunate how uh, bent that is. Now, it doesn't look like there's any damage, as in like cracks or tears, uh, so being sleeved and put into a binder or something looks great, but the art itself is wonderful. I think it's very menacing, uh, especially for Lucario. Absolutely love it. You get in your pack of energy. Your dividers, just like any other ETB, the V-Star marker, which has started coming out last year for the V-Star cards, and some die. And then, oh, condition markers, and then your packs, which I believe there's 10, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. No extra, no less, couldn't ask for any more. And the book, of course, Player's Guide, for those who want to learn about it, they will also teach you not only about the set, but the basics of the game itself, what a V, a V Max, V Star. But really, what I'm most excited about this set is there's some new Radiance. We've got another Radiant Charizard. We can talk all day about how maybe some people are still excited for Charizard. I'm kind of getting tired of it, but that's okay. There's some amazing full arts in here. And they started introducing these signed trainer cards, which I'm so excited for. And I don't know if that'll be moving forward or just because it's this is a celebration of Sword and Shield. And I'll show you what I mean is by the end of this set, it's not just a normal trainer gallery. They've got what I believe they call the Galler Gallery. Say that ten times fast. So honestly, there's only, what, five full arts uh, of trainers, but not even any full art Pokemon. But then it goes into this crazy secret rare Pikachu, that's probably my number one card I want to pull. But then you have, yeah, let's see, GG, which, again, I think is, let me zoom in, there we go. The GG, which is Galler Gallery, and there's some absolutely stunning art. And so far from what I've seen, it seems like the pull rates are pretty great. And there is 70 of this Galler Gallery, so a ton, which ends off in those four cards that morph into one picture. So, very excited. I'm going to get right to it. So y'all aren't waiting any longer. I hope y'all are well. It's, again, been been a wild New Year so far. Been real busy. I'm gearing up for my birthday next week. Actually turning 30. Ooh, so we're starting off with a Zacian and Zamazenta pack. Actually, they all are the same pack art. That's kind of nice. 
All right. And being a special set, I'm sure all the code cards will start with a black, but we will see. There you go for whoever gets it. Two, three. We've got a metal energy and my first pack. We'll start out slow. And as we see more of the comments, we'll go through it quicker. Gloom, who looks like he's falling maybe and he's drooling. <laughs> the crushing hammer. Nice Luxio with the, the lightning going off in the background. Seal, pretty nice there. And keep in mind, last set with the yellow border. It's gonna be bittersweet, but it's for the best. Let's let's all admit it. Aaron, Corpfish, looking like he's having some fun in the rain. An energy search. Ooh, a Luxray parallel. Looks like he, he looks very menacing the way he's staring. And our first pack, ooh, a Zamazenta V. So a parallel, and then a V card is our first. That is actually terrifying. His fangs out, eyes glowing. Nice card there. Can't be mad. I'm actually pretty <laughs> pretty happy about that. But hopefully we can get at least two or three of the Galler Gallery from these 10 packs. Uh, based on what I've seen, that's what it looks like. It looks like there's just hit after hit in this, in this set. Code card. There we go. Three. Another Metal Energy. Let me know which card you're most excited for in the sets, both Galler, you know, Gallery and non, just regular set. Soul Rock and Lunatone back to back. That's a sign, right? Got a rare candy, that cute core fish. Another energy search, Scyther. As you can see, the regular set's 159 cards, so nothing crazy. Riolu, the Young Goose. Ooh, Graveler Parallel. And a Hatterene V, so back-to-back -back hits there. We'll put that there as well. That's a pretty nice card. Okay. And this will be the... Last set before we get a price increase. Uh, those didn't see packs are going up 50 cents. Oh, sorry about that, code card. Uh, but they are saying it, I think they said a guaranteed hollow per pack, psychic energy, which is which is pretty nice. And hopefully that just means the pull rates will be better because if that's the case, we're gonna be okay with a little price hike. Croc Rock though, wallets at first are gonna be like, ooh, you get a, a whole booster box for almost 160 now if they're charging full retail. Badoof, ooh, a Salandit, I got a Purloin. There we go, our first Galler, Gallery, always having a hard time saying that. And there's a bunch of Dunsparce around the room, that's actually very cute. And an Almastar in the back, that's actually cute too. And I'm trying to see, we've got the map. This is a really nice card. A lot of hidden Dunsparce, there's one over here. And an Aerodactyl head there, I don't think I've seen that. Uh, Squirtle drawing. There. There's uh, so much to happen in this one. Ooh, ooh, that's such a sick Zamazenta. So hollow rare Zamazenta, just walking towards you, and then a Zamazenta V. So so far, and I'm gonna count. If you don't count them, the hollow rares, then we got three hits out of three packs. I think that's what we're at. If you do, then we got four, and yeah, that's winning. Code card. Fire energy, maybe we'll get a Radiant Charizard. That's actually the one Radiant I never pulled from the Pokemon Go set, which is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I pulled the Mewtwo All Art three times. Luxio, Trekking Shoes, haven't seen that. There's a Shaman, it's an uncommon card. A Cherubi, Starly, a Switch, Execute, cool. Ooh, love disc, a Yon Mega, and a Zera or a non hollow rare. So a first pack without a hit in it. Okay. I can't believe just how much is in that Dunsparce art. I can't wait to really sit down and take a look at all of these. There we go. All right, Fighting Energy. We got a Lost Vacuum. We got that Luxio holding a little greedent <laughs> plush. That was a Matang. Ooh, Grubbin. Skrelp, an interesting style, Helioptile. We got a Wooloo rolling around. Cute Shinx with some shooting stars. <gasps> Ooh, the Entei Galler Gallery. This is gorgeous. Actually, all three dogs are absolutely stunning. That is so sick. And then a non hollow Yon Mega, but. Wow, look at this Entei. And we'll take another look at the end, just the way the hollow feels off it. 
the volcano erupting, burning rondo, fleet footed. Absolutely gorgeous. Holy cow. Man, we still got one, two, three. Four. That was only halfway through the ETB, and we've already got one, two, three, four. Again, if you don't count the hollow rares, four hits. If you do, we got five. It was always to me, like, if you get over 50%, that feels like a win. I actually really like these trainer galleries um, that are... Did I show you the last code card? Sorry about that. Because it makes you feel like you're winning more. Ooh, the friends in Hisui. I think there's a full art of that. I'm excited. Carnivine. Lost Vacuum. Emolga. Hayanma. Ponyard. Oh, I love the new evolution in Scarlet Violet. Cricketot. Chatot. Ooh, Pincurchin. And a Scizor non hollow rare. Perfect. Feels good to be opening packs again, guys. 2023 is going to be a good year. I think um, just the Pokemon company is doing great things. I hope they keep it up. I hope the quality of cards and the, um, you know, where we're going to see less and less like whiting and just condition of cards just being better overall. Again, I don't know if I showed you that. All right. Starting off with an Uncommon Shaman. Another Friends in Hisui, Carnivine, Pancham, Snorunts. Ooh, yeah. Tangela, Ooh, Ball Toy. Nice, and Mag Mortar, which, so the Mag Mortar on this card with Electivire, there's an Electivire card also with Mag Mortar. It's almost like they go hand in hand. That's sick. Look, the blast and it's hollowed out coming from, yeah. Such a beautiful card. Ooh, and a Zara Aura of VMAX. So that is a double hit on this one. Gorgeous, too. Wow. I can't believe how many hits uh, we're getting on this. I'm always skeptical when I see a bunch of, uh, you know, the big YouTubers open these, like, a couple weeks early. Because I'm like, I feel like they're, they are, you know, genuine. Like, Pokemon doesn't fluff them. But at the same time, could you blame them? Get the hype out? Three... Leaf energy. Ooh, so we got a lair on in the cave. That friends in Sinnoh, so two friends cards. The gloom falling, drooling. The Galarian Mr. Mime with a very interesting, like, disappointed face. <laughs> Sunkern with, okay, just a barn in the background. Is a Badoof. Is a coughing. Ooh, a Salandits. Parallel is an energy switch. And, oh, and the one I wanted the most, the Pikachu, holy cow. So this is considered the, it's, remember, this is not part of the Galar Galar. This is the one secret rare. There's only one secret rare in this whole set. Um, oh, God, I'm so excited. Reverse energies are back. But look at that. Zacian, you got Inteleon, my dog. Oh, Crobat, you got even Urshifu up at the top. You've got... Uh, of course, Pikachu, you got the Hisui, and um, God, I'm so excited, Zoroara, and a Calyrex at the top as well. That isn't, what on, oh, well, you already have, without me opening the last two packs, this is, set is going to be so fun to open, and on day one, Friday, you got ETBs, again, check early, you might already have them in some places, and then I think a couple boxes out. And then in the February, the mini tins come out. And I want to say in March, before Scarlet and Violet, there is uh, three final boxes coming out, which are the three dogs, maybe? I can't remember. And I'm so sorry about that. And then I know there's a Shiny Zamazenta and Zashian box coming out as well. Those are going to be a little pricier, but come with a ton of packs. So for the next few months, we're going to see Crown Zenith. Get your hands on it. Shouldn't be too hard. Laron, Friends and Sinnoh, Galarian Meowth. Wilmer, that's a cute Shinx. Like he's just tearing up a book, eating some cookies. You got a Larvesta, looks like it's creeping in someone's fireplace. Oddish, there's that Shinx again. And then a Snorlax, that's the, the whole pulled out one. That's really cute. Yawning, I, I suppose, is what that one is. Wow, so we are down to the last pack. Maybe we'll get some last pack magic, though. I think I pulled... At least my chase card. I don't know if that's going to be the hardest card to pull. I haven't seen pull rates yet or anything, but I am beyond excited. Wow. 
water energy. Here we are, last pack. Uh, oh, I haven't even mentioned it. Again, guys, if you haven't, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, if you could leave a like, it means a lot, helps out a lot. Um, I'm free to you, if you like the, the content, subscribe. Ring the bell if you'd like. Got some future material coming out. I think I'm going to start doing more reviews on music and, and maybe things like that, too. Someone requested the new Paramore album. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but that is my favorite band. There is a tattoo right there. <laughs> Skrelp. And I would love to do that. So put anything in the comments. Let's see. So Skrelp is a non-hollow. Ooh. Well, it's the parallel. And then a Nessa hollow rare with her autograph. So... Again, that's, I kind of like that touch on this set. Uh, but just a recap, because that was just amazing. Let me grab these. Oh, I don't even know. I mean, I know what my favorite is. We'll save that one for last. <laughs> but we've got the Zara Aura VMAX. We got that Mag Mortar, the Electivire, beautiful art. The Ente, which again, just stunning. And got the silver border. Thumbs into V, very menacing. We got a Hatterene V. The Dunsparce with so many details in it. I'm excited to kind of really look through it. And then the Pikachu. Oh, it's textured too. You can, might be able to see that, his eyes glowing. The little bit of shape and shading in it. There's so much detail in this card alone too that it just, it's exciting in this card. I can't believe I pulled it in my first ETB with it. Makes me excited for the rest of, of the set. But all in all, that's six, seven, uh, not counting the hollow rare, seven hits out of 10 packs. If you count them, I think we had two hollow rares, so that's nine. So let's say nine hits out of 10 packs. That is a 100% win, something I 100% recommend. Go out, get yourself some crowns in it. Enjoy it, guys. Happy 2023. And again, like, subscribe if you will. And uh, we'll see you next time.